I was involved because the wonderful guy Charlie Langhorn approached me to ask me if I would head up the whole thing for gratitude and I felt that with Covid and everything that had gone on it was just such a wonderful concept and the idea was to produce a figure that was now neither male nor female and we could pay homage to the wonderful NHS for all the work they've done throughout the whole of Covid in bringing us through to this stage. So here we are, we have the whole exhibition, all of these artists have done this which is so incredible and I think it's a wonderful way to show homage. I think to battle an invisible um, illness and to come through the other side and survive, I think we need to show what's happened and to be and to really realize just what the the national health have done for us and continue to make sure that we're aware so that this doesn't just pass us by i think it's great that every single artist involved has produced something that is typical of them but has brought out something else like the artist Andrew Logan has done stars made with his wonderful mirror work and then another dress person Kitty Joseph has done rainbows like the rainbows of her dresses or Kate Malone the, the marvellous ceramicist has done pieces that she would have normally stuck on a pot so every artist has produced something that is himself that they've given into the whole project. My own sculpture is mainly the wonderful NHS Incredible Blue, which is also Mexican Amazing Blue. And then I've wound it with wonderful rainbow lilies that go up in all colors of the rainbow that twine around the body. We're just coming out, we hope, of COVID. I think we couldn't show a better homage to make sure that we keep realizing that we're still not away from Covid and we've got to defeat it or at least manage to go on living our lives and carrying on our businesses and not be affected by it. I think it's absolutely fabulous we had a walk from the wonderful silver, the s stunning silver railway station I've got the Parthenon in the back of me, all the best of Victorian, Victorian England and it really is also paying homage to the beauty of Birmingham and making, re I mean they've got the best collection of pre-Raphaelite art anyway, to make sure I come here and see it again and then right in front of a new building, what more could we ask?